What's up, everyone? It's my, well, I can't say it's my favorite day, but it's close to it. It's National Dessert Day. And everybody loves dessert because it's the sweetness in life. It's that, it's that little bit of something after dinner that just, it, it lightens your day up. So today we're going to talk about National Dessert Day, but before we do that, let's start it with a giveaway. On, on, your, on your screen here, you've got a share button. Hit that share button. We're going to give away two magical butter machines. If you don't know what the magical butter machine is, it looks like this, but it's not in puppet form. And it'll make all y'all desserts spectacular. So it's important that in life that you remember to have dessert. And I use dessert a lot for, um, for things when people are really depressed. I've, I've dealt with a lot of people. I'm a very happy and very upbeat person. So a lot of times my friends, when they're struggling, will reach out to me and ask me, hey, look, you know, I need a little something extra. And my trick, my go-to for all these years has always been go get some ice cream. And you know, if you've lost a loved one, go eat yourself a bowl of ice cream. And what happens is we have all these sensors in our body that bring back certain emotions that we've had. And ice cream is one of those triggers that we've eaten it so many times throughout our life, or most of us have eaten it so many times throughout our life, and the memories associated with it are mostly positive. You know, your grandparents took you for ice cream, or you did a great job at school, and your mom took you for ice cream. Um, you know, you went and you played at the beach all day with your parents and then at the end of it you got ice cream or you were on vacation and you went and you got ice cream together as a family. Whatever it was, you've got all these positive feelings surrounding it and then you, you get something cold like that in your mouth and it changes your, your whole day. So it's a little trick that I've used and shared with friends for many years and I want you to have it. I want you to use it and just encourage people, you know. Put something a little sweet in your life when you're not when you're having a bad day. So today's a really fun one. Um, we're getting ready to go to Disney World for my kid's birthday, my daughter's birthday, and we're so excited. I think it's going to be absolutely spectacular. And um, Hi, Dad. oh goodness, <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> what? Uh, can I get you guys? No. Look at these kids. They just came in and squared me all up. <laughs> all right all right i'll take that i'll take that i love you guys so see that was a little bit of dessert in my life i got a great memory there that i wasn't expecting and i love it i love it that's what life is it's all these little sweet moments that you can capture so go out there in your life today and think that life is like dessert think about the best parts of your day and that's what you should store just like when you eat dessert, you know, at the end of that meal, you're like, wow, that dessert really topped off that meal. Every day in life, you live one time. You have, you have one chance through this life. So when you're out there, go live it like it's just one big dessert. It's National Dessert Day. So what better day to adopt that as your strategy? Chris, you got some questions for me today? Let's, let's go to a little Q&A session with my main man, Chris, over here. Hey, how you doing there, G? Uh, if I were any better, you'd have to hit me with a stick and call me lucky. Only a pretzel stick dipped in chocolate. It's National Dessert Day. National Dessert Day, baby. <laughs> All right, cool. We got some user-submitted questions coming through here. Um, people want to know, Garen, what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert. My favorite dessert. I I'm going to go with two because I really I have two favorite desserts. One of my favorite desserts is I love a brownie, a heated brownie with some vanilla ice cream. You know, it used to be the Chocolate Thunder from Down Under. That used to be my jam at Outback back in the day when I was a kid. I really loved that, and um, it was incredible. Now, I'd have to go with mint chip ice cream. I'm a little simple. Are you coming for round two, dude? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get enough. You didn't get me wet enough. It's your birthday. You can get me as wet as you want. I'm not, I'm not worried about it at all. You're going to look like you beat your pants, though. Well, whatever it is, it is. As long as you guys smile, that's what life is. <laughs> all right. She got that shoulder. Woo, Nelly, that's cold water. Did you guys put ice in that? No. Goodness. All right, let me finish my segment, and then, then I'll get you out of Disney. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I am dripping wet and happy as could be. Um, you got more t-shirts. All right, it's a good thing we don't have a shortage of ma Let's give away some Magical Butter t-shirts. Sounds like a good idea. I think that's exactly what we should do. So MB loves you, and we want to give you some of our, you know, swag to go through life and enjoy it and just see what it does for you we know what it's done for us you know this isn't an s on our chest it's a big smile and we'd rather be the the smilers in life 
than anything else. If you go and you just spread love and happiness, what you get back from the world is unimaginable. So let's give away three t-shirts. And, and we're going to give these away right now live. So if you're watching, you're about to win shirts. All you have to type in is hashtag MB's Got Style. Hashtag MB's Got Style. It's going to be a great October. While we're, while we're waiting on this, my boy Chris carved up this pump, pumpkin on his arts and crafts show on uh, Tuesday. And today is probably the last day for it here at the office. But it's amazing. We wanted to get it on camera. Do some arts and crafts with us every Tuesday. Are you doing it on Thursdays now too or just once a week? Uh, just once a week. But if the people want it, we can If the people want it. The people love arts and crafts. We got some winners on some shirts over here. Yeah, it looks like we got a few coming through. I hope uh, you get some weird names like you got the other day because that was awesome, brother. Here's one. Not weird, but beautiful, I should say. As Druval Melissa Cifuentes. Yes, that is a winner. As Druval Cifuentes Cifuentes. You win. We love you. Thank you for being one of our fans, one of our supporters, followers, one of the people who shares. We want to give you some, sh some swag. What else we got? It looks like we got Nicholas Petrodo over there. Nicholas Petrodo. You know, I, Nicks are always good dudes, you notice? Like, I, I got a few good friends named Nicks. One of my first best friends was Nick. Yeah. Yeah, so cool. I agree with that. Let's see who else is a winner today. Yo, Frank Colucci. You're going to get a new shirt, buddy. Frank Colucci, huh? <laughs> Our boy Joey Galliano. He's going to be so proud that his boy Frank Colucci won. I'm guessing you're Italian. I don't know. It sounds like you are, but... No matter what you are, we love you, we appreciate you, and you won. So together we win, guys. Um, let's, go, let's go back to another question. What do you got for me? I got a, another user submit a question here. Garen, what's the first infused dessert that you ever made? Well, the first infused dessert I ever made was probably the first infused dessert that everyone makes in this industry. I made pop brownies. And actually, uh, I, not only did I... Do I, did I is that what I made? But I went and I bought the domain name right after that. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I knew that there was something there um, <laughs> at that point. And I, I still think that, you know, I, in my own mind, I think that we're shifting away from all these sugary snacks. And it's exciting to go more towards uh, healthy, responsible consumption of cannabinoids because I think they're a dietary essential. What else you got for me? That brings us to our third question perfectly. Nice segue. Uh, can desserts also be healthy? Oh, that's a great one. Um, yeah, desserts can be healthy. You know, we make a lot of infused desserts that are... are yeah, I'm going to go right to it. And I, I, this may not be dessert for you, but it's my dessert. Um, and I've kind of changed my mentality a little bit because I want to eat healthy. And I don't always want the sugary snack. And now on National Dessert Day, I want to eat some sugary snacks. But almost every other day of the year, I really like to stay away from the sugary snacks and just have a great diet and dietary intake in my body. So what we go with is infused salad dressing. And it's amazing. So when you really start to uh, eat infused foods, you'll t the only limitation with our machine is your imagination. You can make anything in the world infused. If you go to our website, uh, magicalbutter.com forward slash recipes, all kinds of recipes on there for you to just let your imagination run wild and go crazy with it. So, uh, yeah, mine's, mine's probably salads. And I, I know that's a weird dessert, but I think if you just eat more salads in life, you'll be happy. And I, I just, I want you to eat more salads. I want you to eat more cannabinoids and just be happy, healthy, loving, and free. Is that, awesome. a, that, is that a solid? Oh, man. Ten points on that answer. Yeah, I think so. Three. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's your birthday tomorrow. You Let's can squirt me up all you want. I think we should. Happy birthday, Chloe. Ready? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. you. You are soaking me. Happy birthday, dear Chloe. Go ahead. I'll let you get my head. Happy birthday Woo! to you. Woo! I love you, princess. It's going to be a great weekend. I know, right? <laughs> now get out of my shot, you camera hug. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a great weekend because we get to spray you. It is going to be a great weekend. You do get to spray me. You know, I, I, my, my dessert is my kids. I mean, I really, at the end of the day, they're the sweetest thing I have in my life. And if you have kids, you know exactly what I mean. And preparing them for life has been the most amazing and 
best gift that you could ever ask for. They've made me such a better person and they make me smile every day more than any dessert ever could. So that's, that's really where it's at. I want to do so, a, a live giveaway. What do you think? Yeah, sounds so good. So we're going to give away a live giveaway. We did the puppet gimmick the other day. It was a ton of fun. Our boy Chris made these for us. And uh, what up? So, uh, Mr. Butter, you ready? Or uh, MB2, you ready to go to a new home? Yeah, I sure am. Please, give one away. All right. He's, he's cleared, the, cleared the plate for us. <laughs> um, so we're going to give away um, a machine for whoever types in uh, hashtag... I, I love magical butter. Whoever types in hashtag I love magical butter first is going to win a free machine. Uh, we're gonna, we do this every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do a, a motivational segment. I try to give you a, a little bit of just positive, uplifting, good content. And then we give you some giveaways as well to, to give you some of what you've given us. You know, really, we built this company on Facebook, 50 bucks a day. You've had our backs all the way, and we want to have yours. Chris, you got a winner? A winner, winner, chicken dinner? Looks like we do have a winner that came through. Bobby L. Moore, congratulations. <laughs> Bobby, you have the fastest internet I have ever seen. <laughs> she kills it. Every time. Kills it. Bobby, uh, we're, let's, let's give it to someone. Uh, Bobby's a really cool person. She won one earlier this week. Let's give it to somebody else. All right. Fair no enough. No offense, Bobby. I love you. You're the best. Let's give it to uh, Amanda Enriquez. Amanda Enriquez. There we go. So... We love you guys. Thanks for your continued support. You're amazing. Together we win. I'm going to take these kids. I'm going to load them up. I'm going to get them over to Disney World for a few days. We're going to celebrate and eat some desserts. It's National Dessert Day. Bring your, your spouse something home today or your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mother, whatever. Bring them something home today and say it's National Dessert Day. Let's spend five minutes of sweet time together. And that's what I got for you. Peace out. Cheers to goodness. I'll see you back here Monday. And uh, Chris will be live Tuesday. We've got all kinds of recipes going. Live subscribe so you know when we're on and you can win.